Hi, I'm Simon and today we're coming at you from Ho Chi Minh City, the largest city in Vietnam. It's been a while since I've been in Vietnam and it's great to be back here. I've been traveling Southeast Asia for more than 30 years now, so I know how daunting it is when you arrive in a new city. There's a new currency, different language, and most of all you've got to worry about what you're going to eat. So hopefully before the end of this video, I'll have you sorted for your first day and a half in Ho Chi Minh. We'll, uh, go over some of the street foods and other foods you can find and work out what they're called, what they taste like how much they are and whereabouts you can find them so it's going to be fun, let's go Okay guys, we're basing this video as if you're in District 1 you're staying in District 1 of Ho Chi Minh City great mix of the old and the new there's a fantastic nightlife scene down Street Bouvien there's also a walking distance to local attractions You've got the markets close as well. You can have a browse around there. So we're basing this as if you're living in, in District 1. This is the first thing you want to find, one of these ladies when you get off the plane, and this is the first meal. So we've got the pork here cooking away on the grill. They're pork patties. That looks like noodles, but it's actually uh, seasoned pork rind, which is nice. A mixture of herbs there, Vietnamese mint. There's some... Uh, Pickled daikon and some carrot in the back there. A bit of coriander, cucumber, some eggs. Beautiful fresh local bread. So there's a bit of hoisting on there to start with. Some of the cucumber, pickled veg, a bit of herbs, the pork, goodness. Some of those beautiful patties. Oh, and then the eggs squeezed in. Hello. Perfect. Okay, so we've just popped over the road from the uh, Bar Me lady there. 35,000 for this. I'll put the uh, conversions up on the screen. So as I said before, it's uh, it's got the pork. Just put the egg in there. There's coriander, the pork floss. <laughs> mixture of herbs and the hoisin sauce on the bottom oh. so good this isn't a barn me like you've seen on TV these hot ones are next level so this is your first bite when you get off the plane straight to find one of these ladies the thing with street food is there's a lot of people there and they're turning over business the food's not sitting out you see it get cooked in front of you and prepared in front of you it's going to be good for you. Meal number one, grilled barn me, charcoal flavoured, absolutely amazing. Right, I'm going to knock this on the head and we'll keep going. Yeah, these sellers are, uh, the sellers are all over the place. If you um, out on the street any time uh, of the day, pretty much until around midnight, they're selling. They're not all pork, so if you want chicken, there's chicken, or you can just get eggs on the barn me rolls. The bread's amazing uh, and it's such a great little snack. You can eat it on the go, having a couple of beers, it's nothing better. So uh, this is definitely your first meal that you want to try. The next morning, we, I'm going to let you go on your own and have a bit of a browse around. That's what Lena and I did. We just found one of our back alleys. We were looking for some pho, which is the beef uh, noodle soup. We uh, up and down these alleys. There'll be pho places all over, uh, all over Ho Chi Minh. Uh, and you'll be able to find one within sort of 100 metres of your accommodation. So check out these back alleys, uh, go on the hunt yourself and find a bowl of fur. Morning, Judge. Morning, how are you? Doing well, sir. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, so we just set up here with this guy. The coffees are absolutely amazing, super cheap as well. Good coffee or iced coffee. This guy was doing some uh, cooking prep for the rest of the day and I uh, was cooking up some fish and some chicken pieces. We ordered a couple of bowls of, uh, bowls of noodles here. Lena got a, um, Lena got a, a pho and I got some uh, pork with noodles. They're both really nice. I'll put the prices up on the screen for both of them now, but uh, yeah, good meals. So Lena, beef pho, and that was 50,000, so it's nothing and it was really, really nice. And uh, I had these pork noodles with uh, pepper and veg, so they were really nice as well. So good choices. Go local for your first morning and uh, 
see what you can find just in your local area, but fur is definitely on the list. We uh, had a couple of meals with this guy, uh, but we did try some fur at one of the other places. But yeah, the smell coming out of these dishes here, the fish and the chicken is absolutely amazing. So, uh, good start to the day, and you get to explore a bit around the area where you're staying and where you're living, you're living for the next few days, so it's good to get out and have a bit of a check. Eat like a local. There's another couple of bowls of uh, fur. I had a, mine was more of a beef stew and that was really nice actually. Lena had uh, fur again. So we're, uh, Lena's got a fur and I've got a uh, beef stew. Look how tender this is, amazing. It's just falling apart in the chopsticks. Mm. Beautiful. Heaps of good condiments. Just put some Thai basil through it. It's pickled ginger. Uh, pickled garlic rather over here. Put a bit of that through. Amazing flavours. Amazing. Um, so this one, banana. Oh yeah, just like this one here, banana. So auntie here's got these uh, bananas wrapped in, uh, they've got uh, coconut cream and they've got rice flour around the outside cooked over charcoal and they're going to be amazing oh yeah okay there's a different range of stuff she's got yep. oh no no it's okay just that one yeah yeah oh just one yeah Oh, and then a spoonful of the delicious coconut. Oh, sesame seeds. Spoon, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, how much is that one? Fourteen, fourteen. I'm just having a try of this banana now. So it's basically, like she said, just a banana. It's wrapped in a rice flour batter and uh, coconut milk. Dodgy, it's sort of sweet. The banana's still, the banana's still firm. You can taste some of that flavour from the grill, which was good. But interesting. Maybe not my favourite, but it's nice all the same. Just come back here because I've just got a sugar cane juice and it's delish. So uh, Lena's going to get one. I'll show you how they do it. Fifteen thousand. And it just gets pressed. There's some calamansi lime that goes through there as well. A couple of runs, extracts all the juice. Next minute, sugar cane juice. That's delicious. <laughs> Gotta have a sip, you can't even get the lid on this that much in there. <laughs> After you've had breakfast, you can head down to, uh, there's a couple of markets, so the Bentan Market, which is the large one uh, that you've probably, probably heard of, so you can head over there. Great for t-shirts, bags, also that sort of stuff. Saigon Square Market, straight over the road. Got AC, similar prices, so it's a bit cooler. But yeah, there's a good range of things here. There's also actually a little food court at Ben Tant. Lena and I just stopped in and had some spring rolls eggs. It was mid morning by then. So, uh, where the food is, uh, pictures up showing very clearly what the food is. So, you can go for um, something that you might be familiar with. It's got all the prices there, all the pictures are up uh, showing exactly what they are and what they look like, what they're going to be, and how much they're going to cost. After that, uh, it's not too far to walk over to the Independence Palace. So these are the gates that you might have seen the tank go through. This is the palace. If you're over this way, you may as well have a look. This is a great little food court that's just over the road. So yeah, first thing in the morning through the Independence Palace, after having a feed at the market, 
and uh, oh, in the back streets near your hotel, if that hotel hasn't put breakfast on for you, go to the Independence Palace, give yourself a couple of hours there, and then just over the road, up here, there's a little street food centre which kicks off about 9 o'clock in the morning. It's only half past 9 at the moment, but we'll uh, show you where it is. Okay, so as you head into this uh, little street food market, it's actually a really good setup. There's uh, ceiling fans everywhere, heaps of tables and chairs, but the best thing about this place is they've got the food out, you can see what it looks like. All the prices are very clearly labelled and there's excellent pictures of what it is. It's got the name in Vietnamese, it's got the name in English, there's a massive variety of food, uh, there's vegetarian and vegan options, it's not the cheapest place um, by a long shot, but the bonus is you get everything in one spot. There are cheaper options around the city, as you will find. However, everything here, it's all in one spot. There's uh, vegetarian and vegan options as well at this place. Everything's laid out really well. It's nice and clean. They'll generally cook the food in front of you. You can see exactly what it is from the pictures. And if you go with a group of guys, if you're traveling with a group of people, everyone can order one or two things and you get to try a really good range of flavors. So definitely somewhere to go, work out what the stuff tastes like, try some barns the air, the pancakes or other stuff that you might not have seen before uh, or you haven't tried back in your home country. But yeah, it's a good option this place because everything's there, it's laid out well. They've also got a, a little bar area and like I mentioned here, this vegan skewers, um, there's other vegan and vegetarian options, but they've got a little bar area so you can have a couple of beers with lunch and a really good spot to stop in. Look, I hope this video has helped you for, the, uh, for your first day and a half in Ho Chi Minh. Get yourself sorted when you get off the plane. So uh, yeah, there's more stuff uh, coming on the channel. So if you're interested in this sort of thing, feel free to subscribe. But yeah, thanks for watching and hope you get something out of it. Cheers.